Hello there. Our brush tonight is my brush guy. Copper Swirl has a 22 millimeter Virginia Sheen silver tip knot in it. I'm going to set it over here to warm up and soak a bit. And you can see, because I know somebody will say something, I need a haircut. It's coming. Uh, tonight's soap is Vanillet's Khaleesi. This is per Vanillet. Uh, it's a it's main notes of an Eastern spice blend with smoke and firewood. And in the top right corner, right underneath, or right yeah, right underneath the pricing and the name of the soap, it also says caramel, Eastern caramel. So, and I think I can pick out a bit of caramel in it. I don't know, maybe it'll be more um, when the soap blooms. But uh, if I didn't see that on the description, I would not think that there was caramel in it. But it is a really nice. Uh, colognes. And one of the things I really love about the way that Monica blends soaps or scents rather is that she can put a great variety of scents into a, a blend, a scent blend that she makes. Uh, and if you know what's in it, a lot of times you can, you know, kind of pick out the ingredients, the different scents that were added into the mix. But what she comes up with is a really uh, sophisticated kind of perfume or cologne type scent that I... <laughs> there are very few of her soaps that I have tried scent wise that I could not that I did not like um she sent me uh, a sample of the vaccine and I that I don't like the smell of but I think that that was done on purpose it's uh, probably supposed to smell like sickness and stuff like that so but that's another thing with her that she does really well is she can take a lot of different scents or just a few depending on what she's trying to do and not only like blend a scent that's that smells good or that's a nice cologne scent or whatever but she can kind of describe something with scent if you get my meaning and that's one of the things that I really love about her soaps and uh, so uh, yeah we're gonna give that a whirl this evening Khaleesi it smells lovely so now I've got probably a week's growth something like that so let's go ahead and load up the brush so what's happening anything good we've had I watched Caleb's latest video last Sunday's video he does Caleb McCullough does a Sunday morning shave pretty much every Sunday morning uh, you ought to check it out uh, but uh, he was talking about that it had started raining about 2 30 and I think if that morning 2 30 and I think if I'm not mistaken Missouri's not gotten a lot of rain lately uh, just a bunch of heat and Virginia here we've gotten more rain here I think this year than we have in a really long time but the rain doesn't <laughs> it doesn't cool anything down but for just a uh, just a tiny little bit and then it's like back to a scorcher and so this week has not been bad uh, 
we we're getting some relief but the thing of it is is we can we'll complain about that and then when the fall weather comes and it starts getting cooler we'll be happy to see that but then when when winter rolls around we'll be wishing for summer again that's just the way that it goes I reckon uh, fall is my favorite season so we are coming into fairly soon my, my favorite time of the year I don't think I got enough soap in that brush. I didn't wet the soap sample. I just stuck it in the bowl. I had a wet brush, but I should have put a little bit of water on it. But I think it'll be all right. And tonight we're going to shave with my cloths. I have not shaved with this razor in at least a year. I don't even know what kind of edge is on it, if it's any. Oh yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that edge. Not a lick. <laughs> That's good. Lovely. Ain't nothing wrong with Ain't nothing wrong with that edge. I don't know what it is. I would assume that it was an Asher because because uh, because I use that stone an awful lot, probably more than any other finishing stone. That and the black arc, but the black arc. Is almost always used in combination. with another finisher I found over the years that it's best use for me when it comes to straight razors and I'm going to put a little bit more soap in this brush but when it comes to straight razors um, I find that uh, the black arc is best as like a post finisher it shines really well at putting like a crown on what the other 
finishers have already done. Uh, to push what you've already got to a much higher level. So if I use a black arc, it's usually after something like the Etcher or after a J-Nat or Conical or something like that. This is a bit milder scent than what I'm used to with her. Uh, although, you know, I kind of take that back. She has um, such a wide range of different soaps that you will find some that are super strong and some that are really nice and mellow. Uh, she's got one called, I think, like the wash or laundry or or something like it's supposed to be like uh, fresh sheets hanging on the line and it is fresh seat sheets hanging hanging on the line it's flipping lovely uh, and there's if you're like sensitive to different ingredients and stuff in soap that would be a really good one it, it's a lovely soap so That's one thing that you'll never do with her or herself, and that is put them in, put her or them in a box and say this is it because it's not. Uh, there's always going to be. Another layer. I gotta be careful. I have a friend I haven't talked to in a bit. We generally talk on Facebook. But I think if I'm not mistaken, he said that he was on vacation, so he might just be enjoying himself which I hope that he is but I haven't spoken to him in a bit and so I need to I need to get a hold of him and if he's watching he knows who he is my hands are, are shaking I'm not going to try that And take care of it that way but anyway uh, I need to get a hold of me Lovely. That's a beautiful shape. And they're not going to prosecute. <laughs> Good stuff. Now if I don't slice my finger up from drying off my razor, everything will be golden. So, uh, 
It mentions in the description, let me draw my face, that it was like a, an Eastern Spice mix. So, the scents are not anywhere near the same, but I think it'll work. I'm going to use some vintage Old Spice as an aftershave. Oh yeah. Lovely. Oh yeah. Love Old Spice. Um, alright. That's the shade. Vanillet's Khaleesi. Very nice. I'll talk to you later.